Turn your leftover lechong manok or roast chicken from the grocery store into this yummy pancit dish. If you want to know the recipe, please go to my YouTube channel, Casa Negrense, Cooking and Lifestyle with Queenie, and you are going to be directed to this recipe. Besides this one, we also have a lot of Ilongo international and Filipino dishes that we can share with you guys. So, this is Queenie saying, please see us soon. My name is Queenie and you are watching Casa Negrense. Hi you guys, another day here in Casa Negrense. Today is a random recipe. Why? Because do you have those days that all you have is a leftover chicken? And then you check your fridge, you found some carrots, some red bell, some green bell pepper, you found some um, cabbage too, and then you open your freezer and you found a frozen atay or liver, chicken liver. And then you check another freezer part and you found a frozen lo mein or pancit noodle. Then, voila, you are able to make a pancit recipe. Lo mein pancit canton recipe. This is the concept today. Now, if you don't have lo mein, use pancit canton, but go easy on your salt because you know there's salt in there. All right, so we will give you the rest of the ingredients after preparing all this up. But for now, I'm going to head to the to the stove and boil water, about five cups of water. Put this one in there for like five minutes. Take it out, put it in a cold or icy water, drain it and put butter or um, oil on it so it won't stick to each other. Alrighty. All right, over here, a pot of water, five, seven, eight, nine cups, whatever you want. But all I'm after, let's turn on the light. All I'm after is to put this one in there, submerge it to cook it for five, five minute stops, and then remove it from there. I already explained that, so let's keep moving. While waiting for that, let's see what mama is doing. So over here, what mama is doing, she's shredding the leftover chicken. Of course, when you shred it, you use your hand, right? Magpakatotoo ka, brother or sister. Shred, use your hand, or if not, cut it, uh, cut it with um, a knife. But this is real cooking here, reality TV here. So this is what we're doing. So in a few, we are going to rinse and clean this atay here or the liver to put it to the recipe as one of the main ingredients too. Here I am cleaning the atay. Rinsing it off and making sure it's nice and clean. All right, water is boiling now. We're going to add the lo mein noodle. Five minutes. And then we're going to rinse it in cold water and put it in cold water as well. Setting up the timer. We're gonna set up the timer for five minutes, okay? Five minutes it's set up, starts now. All right, loosen it up, make sure so it won't stick together. Don't mind that alarm. That's not our timer. That's just the ti the alarm clock for my cell phone. All right. Five minutes is up, and we're going to drain this one right now. All right. It's time to drain our pan set or the lo mein. Steaming. And then we're going to rinse it with cold water. This process is to prevent it from sticking to each other. And then steer, steer, steer. And then we're gonna put some oil, okay? <laughs> oh my God, did you, hear, did you see that? It just dropped into the sink. 
All right, so we're gonna add the oil, oil it so it won't stick to each other. And stir, stir, stir. All right, so that is done. Noodles done. Finally, for the complete ingredients, okay. One half kilo of lo mein. One medium sized onion. One fourth of a large um, cabbage cut into, into squares. I have five cloves of garlic. I have one half of a medium sized bell pepper. I have the leftover chicken, about one calf and a half. I have one calf, one calf, one cup and a half of liver, chicken liver. I have nor cubes, which I'm going to use one cube for this. I have also patis and of course salt and pepper to taste. And look here, I have calamansi. What we're gonna do with this, we're gonna put a little bit of calamansi to our atay. For what reason? So that you're going to be removing the smell of the um, atay if you do have one. And uh, if there is, but there would be because atay always has that little smell to that. And I added one tablespoon of soy sauce to marinate and to take off some unwanted smell of the atay. Okay? Chakto na ito, ma. And stir, marinate it, five minutes. Why only five minutes? You added lemon or lime or calamansi. You don't want that to cook in calamansi. So you wanted it just to marinate. Okay, in a pot here, we have two tablespoons of um, oil. And look, this is the topping, okay? Composed of onion, bell pepper, cabbage, and carrots. So, I'm going to stir fry this first because I don't just add this to the pancit or the lo mein afterwards because malata nisha it's gonna get smush mushy so let's start doing the saute process let's add the carrot and the green bell pepper and the onions too And then stir fry. Gisa gisa. Stop three minutes. Maximum three minutes. And we're gonna add the. cabbage until all these veggies turns a little bit of translucent not all the way translucent or else you overcook your veggie at this point you're gonna have to flavor your veggie everything's jumping in here because I'm the one filming and cooking at the same time add a little bit of salt to taste Stop, look and listen at this time. Look at the veggie. Is it good enough? Is it still crunchy? Is it cooked through or whatever? So, for me, three minutes is up. I'm going to transfer it to a container. All right, we're ready to, to cook the other ingredients. 
same pan okay because it's clean you just stir fry anyway so all right same pan put two tablespoon <laughs> that was more than two tablespoon ma all right about two to two and a half tablespoon of oil we're gonna because this is filipino cooking of course first the garlic and brown the garlic and now we don't want to burn it so add the onion onion and garlic added all right ready to add the atay why atay first not the chicken the chicken the shredded chicken was a leftover chicken right it's already cooked so we're gonna cook our atay first but easy on the atay because atay when it's overcooked it's gonna get tough That's a good marinated atay. What you doing, ma? Oh, all right. My mom's adding more patis to the to the stir fried atay. So that's another one tablespoon. That's a lot. Okay, one and a half tablespoon. <laughs> When mama joins the cooking, it's a disaster. But then at the end of it, it tastes good. So, all in all, we saute the atay or the liver, the chicken liver in um, garlic and um, onion for a um, total of five minutes together with the soy sauce. We added the soy sauce. Now we're going to add the chicken cube. Yeah. All right, we're adding the chicken. My mom's always in a hurry to cook. I told her not to add the chicken. She already had chicken. I'm going to have to get some medication for dementia one day. I don't know. All right, so now we're going to be adding one cup of water. Didn't I just mention one cup? My mom said, no, two cups. So we're adding two cups of water, okay? She is the boss, so she is the one that needs to be followed. Two cups. You said two cups, mama, two cups. That's two cups. I measured it. It's two cups. Because we need to place proper measurements here because they are following our recipe. So we are now putting pepper. Adjust your pepper accordingly. So at this time, she is cracking pepper, black pepper, about one fourth teaspoon. I like spicy stuff, but they don't. So I have to go with them because there's three of them and I'm the only one. Alright guys, this is chicken bouillon powder. Okay? If you don't have one, add one more nor cubes because i only put one cube but this time we are adding this chicken powder because my mom said i don't like it it doesn't taste right so we are putting that is one fourth teaspoon so it's like one half teaspoon of chicken powder if you don't have it use chicken cube okay or if the water that you place or the broth that you place in your uh, pancit is already chicken broth, then just add a one, one cubes. All right. Yes. It tastes so much better now. All right. Now it's time to put the pancit or the lo mein. Whoops, just dump it on my. Oh, that's a lot of fun. All right, mix it all together to incorporate all the flavors. And then it's time to taste your seasoning, okay? Whatever I say here. It's up to you to add salt and pepper to your liking. 
because I have no control over your food over there, but I have over mine because I can taste it. So if you think it's too salty, add more water or put a little bit of sugar. If you think it's too, um, too bland, add more salt, add more pepper. All right, now it's time to add the stir fried veggies. And mix. All right, you guys, it's been an amazing day here at Casa de Grense with me and my mom cooking. With her, keep saying side comments and com <laughs> complaining. <laughs> um, basta ilonggo dishes ganiya na mitkid. This is Casa de Grense cooking and lifestyle with Queenie. Thank you for watching. As always, I am so happy that you guys are subscribing, liking, and sharing it. Bye! See you in the next episode of Casa Nigrense.